Does this jam-packed Parisian stage signal salvation for a warming planet? President Obama and some 150 other leaders who've come to Paris say it has to. For I believe in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. that there is such a thing as being too late. And when it comes to climate change, that hour is almost upon us. Launching two weeks of talks to finalize a new global deal, those leaders are pledging individual steps to curb heat trapping pollution and, they hope, cap the rise in the Earth's average temperature this century at 2 degrees Celsius. We need the world to know that we are headed to a low emissions, climate resilient future and there is no going back. But this is also a summit in the shadow of the bloody terror attacks of two weeks ago. Obama paid tribute to the victims outside the concert hall where gunmen took scores of lives, but says going ahead with the summit's an act of defiance. What greater rejection of those who would tear down our world than marshalling our best efforts to save it? Yet those efforts still mean tough bargaining, not just with countries like China, now the world's biggest carbon polluter, but with poor countries who want cash to help them adopt clean energy. For many, the key will be leaps in technology, which is why the U.S. and its allies say they'll double R&D budgets in five years. Critics note that's long after Obama leaves office. For the president, a climate deal here in Paris could help cement his legacy. Yet GOP leaders are vowing to thwart what they call his job-killing promises in Congress, in the courts, and on the campaign trail. Which raises the question, are Obama's pledges going to be worth the recycled paper they're printed on? Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Paris.